In the past decade, the U.S. has seen a steady rise in the number of international students who enrolled in colleges and universities. But because of high tuition and fees, immigration concerns, divisive political talk and perceived crime, international students are now considering other options. Sahal Majid has more in this report narrated by Jim Battelle. Foreign students are looking at other countries to pursue their education because of the extremely high costs for attending American universities, according to studies. It is no secret that compared to other nations, the cost of higher education in the U.S. is significantly higher. But high tuition is not the only factor. A study by the Institute for International Education points to perceived crime in the U.S. and divisive political rhetoric aimed at immigrants. Actually, this has become my prime concern as my background is of an Indonesian, an Asian, and a Muslim. Also, my appearance is different, so people can tell that I'm from outside America. It will be a challenging situation for me to adapt in the States, even though at first I thought it wasn't a problem, as I felt that America was open-minded. Other countries, such as Canada, are seen by some as more welcoming. It has looked to attract students from China, India, Philippines, Vietnam, and Pakistan by granting visas that take only three weeks to process. We have found that, based on our statistics, that these are the countries that are most interested uh, in sending students to Canada. And while having fewer international students than the U.S., those in Canada find their immigration pathways are paying off. After my undergrad degree, I got a three-year open work permit, uh, which is also called the post-grad work permit, and I applied for uh, jobs. Um, I got recruited in an accounting firm, and there I worked one year full-time, uh, and which made me eligible to apply for permanent residence. New Zealand, with 130,000 international students, is also beefing up its recruitment strategy. The vast majority, um, about 50%, come from China and from India. But we also have, uh, obviously, a big interest in finding students, the right students from um, South America, North America and Europe, as well as the Middle East, uh, Southeast Asia. Despite this competition, some experts believe the U.S. can once again become the top choice for international students. One of the fantastic things about the global higher education landscape is that any country can become a leading destination depending on the right factors. So the United States, for example, could become a leading destination once again and dominate for quite a while. Chase adds that measures by universities such as making international students feel more welcome through English language classes, networking, and student organizations would help attract more foreign students. For Sahar Majid, Jim Bertel, VOA News.